This is a science experiment to see if weight and height affect the distance between two repelling magnets. I'm using a wooden train, which is put onto the rails and stuck there. There's a ruler on the tracks to measure. Um, I'm using a lightweight cargo car, which will be filled with four quarters at a time. And there are three loads of quarters, four, lo four quarters per, and let's get started. This height is 4.2 centimeters. The trunk itself, which weighs 38 grams, had a distance between 5 millimeters. If we added 56 grams, the distance between 3 millimeters. When we added 74 grams, the distance between was 1 millimeter. And when we added 93 grams, there was no distance between them anymore. At 3.5 centimeters, the 38 gram truck has 7 millimeters in between. At 56 grams, the truck has 5 millimeters in between. 74 grams has 3 millimeters in between. And finally, 93 grams has 2 millimeters in between. At a height of 2.9 centimeters, the 38 gram truck has 9 millimeters in between. 56 grams has 6 millimeters in between. 74 grams has 5 millimeters in between. And 93 grams has 3 millimeters in between. Two point one centimeters off the ground, the thirty eight gram truck has eleven millimeters in between. The fifty six gram truck has nine millimeters in between. At seventy four grams, it has eight millimeters in between. And at ninety three grams, it is five millimeters in between. Our objective is, do height and weight affect the distance between two repelling magnets? Our hypothesis was, yes it does. As for the more height that's added and the more weight that's added, the less distance that there will be in between. And yes, our hypothesis was correct. The more weight and height that's added, the less distance.